ask, be nice, and be gracious to people. That's what we need more of nowadays. Not, not the meanness and the cruelness, the niceness. You're, yeah. meeting, you're meeting some of your old friends. They seem to be dropping yeah. by every day. <laughs> oh, yeah, Art Linkletter just stopped up. <laughs> yeah, how's he doing, by the way? He's doing wonderful. Yes. You know, he found out that kids say the darndest things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, 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 what performances are you now now performing on the other side, and and who is uh, the favorite up there? I, I I think the favorite up there would be Freddie. Freddie. Freddie the freeloader. Yeah, he's uh, he's always got a kind word to say. He never asked anybody for anything because that would be taken away from them. And uh, he he's now met God, but he sneezed and, and he didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the greatest? That's the greatest fear oh, forever. Tell me, you just got that, I Cash. I just got that. Oh, am I getting older? Oh, okay. we'll slow it down. Please. Yes, you please. please. You, you talk slower, he'll listen faster. So that's there okay. Well, it, it's a privilege to, to have you here, and, and it's been a lot of years since you performed. Um, how about all your other friends, sir, Gertrude and, and Gertrude all those guys? Gertrude and You know, they were flying. You see, over over uh, Washington D.C. And Gertrude says, look, down there is the Capitol building. He says, yeah, this one's on the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am back in the 50s <laughs> as a teenager. I can't believe it. Do, do you still take requests, by the way? Oh, sure. Do you? I'll take as many as they like. Oh. I, won't, uh, I can't promise I'll deliver them all. I got gotcha. you. I'll take requests. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cash, you have a request for, uh, I mean, I, this is... I did. Just take it away, Phillips. Uh, take it away. Just oh my take goodness! It away. This is so much fun. Oh, yeah. all right. Well, that 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 sounds uh, that sounds wonderful. I, I got another Gertrude Heathcliff. Please go right for it. Okay, yes, Gertrude Heathcliff. You see, and uh, <laughs> Gertrude says you're always worried. He says I know, I know. She says, what are you worried about now? He says, I'm worried about Willie the whale. She says, why on earth are you worried about Willie the whale? He said he fell in love with a submarine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She said he fell in love with the submarine. He says, yep, now every time it fires a torpedo, he thinks he's got to pay child support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would fit right in with After Dark on this show. That, that's, yeah, certainly oh, would. my goodness oh, gracious. Oh. All right, so, uh, well, it seems like everybody's doing good. Um, yeah. How about Clem? Good old Clem. Is he oh, around? Clem Cadillac. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Good to see you, folks. Good to see you. It's been a long time. Since I seen you folks last, I got married. I did. I got married. Good, you did. Yeah, it was a military wedding. Uh huh. Well, there was guns there. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, <laughs> she's a superstitious woman too. Very superstitious. How superstitious was she? <laughs> she's so superstitious. She won't do housework any week that's got a Friday in it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm yeah. losing it again, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Any week that has a Friday, every week has Friday, so nothing got done at the house. You know, if I have to explain these, and you're older than me, this, there's a problem here in the translation. I think someone else is actually dead. Red, I think you stay. Cash will go yeah. back when we're done in this next segment here. I've been Our, showing the Boy Scouts how to tie a knot. Yes. Anything I see, I tie a knot in it. They made me stop milking, you know. <laughs> Poor cows. <laughs> all right, now, all right, Red. I want to get serious here for a second because pr prior to going to break, we, we talked about uh, the the military. Yeah. You want me to be serious? If you can, whatever that means for you, of course. <laughs> um, you, you did a wonderful bit about the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes. Why don't you share yes. about a minute or two what, about that? Because I think it's important based on the sound off that my partner Cash shared with before you came on. Yeah, and and it has to do with the fact that as a child uh, we were all reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, when this little old teacher walked in. Mr. Laswell was his name. And he said, I've been listening to you boys and girls recite the Pledge of Allegiance all semester. And it seems as though it's becoming monotonous to you. If I may, may I recite it and try to explain to you the meaning of each word? I, me, an individual, a committee of one, pledge, Dedicate all my worldly goods to give without self-pity. Allegiance, my love and my devotion to the flag, our standard, old glory, a symbol of freedom, because wherever she waves, there's respect 
because your loyalty has given her a dignity that shouts freedom is everybody's job. United. That means that we have all come together. States. Individual communities that have united into 48 great states. 48 individual communities with pride and dignity and purpose. All divided with an imaginary boundary, yet united for a common purpose, and that's love for country. And to the Republic. Republic. That's a state in which sovereign power is invested in representatives chosen by the people to govern. And government is the people. And it's from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people, for which it stands. One nation. One nation, meaning so blessed by God. Indivisible. Incapable of being divided. With liberty, which is freedom. The right of power to live one's own life without threats, fear, or some sort of retaliation, and justice, the principle or qualities of dealing fairly with others, for all, for all. Which means, boys and girls, it's as much your country as it is mine. And he said, let me hear you recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And since I was a small boy, two states have been added to our country, and two words have been added to the Pledge of Allegiance. Under God, wouldn't it be a pity if somebody said, that is a prayer, and that would be eliminated from our schools too? Thank you. Wow. Unbelievable. I, I, Breathless. I just, I just remember so clearly hearing that for the first time. It, it had to be in the 1950s, January right? 14th, 1969. 69. Wow. Yeah. Uh, when amazing. the Vietnam conflict was going on, and we didn't have much respect for our soldiers as they were coming back. No, I remember that very well. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Red. That was a terrific rendering. Listen, you know, we're here in, in Las Vegas, in the middle of the West, in the desert. Um, I, I wanted to find out if a guy such as Deadeye... Sheriff sure, Deadeye? How would he have survived in Las Vegas way back when? Drinking lots of whiskey. <laughs> oh, you mean like the current... Anyway, that's... Yeah. That, never mind. Sorry, I, I digress. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Now, yeah. what what do you think Deadeye would have said if he met Bugsy Siegel at the time Vegas was getting started under Bugsy? How do you think... Really? How do you he, think that would have gone? He would have probably met him and said, This town ain't big enough for the both of us. <laughs> One of us has got to go. Huh. And who would have won? <laughs> probably Bugsy. <laughs> well, I'm not too sure about that because on one Hollywood night, yeah, exactly. Bugsy found his uh, ending. His, his demise. His demise. Yes, he did. How about uh, San Fernando Red? He was a shady guy, wasn't Ooh, he? Yeah, he was. He was a crooked politician. And uh, he'd say, friends, you're not going to tell me who my friends are because nobody tells me who my friends are. You're my friends. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, he was he was uh, quite the the shady character, San Fernando Red, uh, a crooked politician. Now, wow. let, let me ask you one one final question yeah. that I have, Red. Yeah. What do you think of this guy Brian that actually has brought you back to the Royal uh, Resort? What do you think of Brian? Is he a good guy? He, I mean, he's a very nice, honest, humble fella. Yeah. He'll give you the shirt off his back if as long as so he had a T-shirt to wear. <laughs> well, it sounds like yeah. he's cut from your mold. I think. I. I I think there's a lot of similarities there. More wow. than I know. Ray, yeah. I have I have one question for yeah. you. I mean, I don't I can yeah. hardly remember ever seeing you not looking like the clown that you <laughs> have brought to us tonight. Yeah. Uh, where did where did that come from? Freddie the freeloader. Freddie's a little bit of you, a little bit of me, a little bit of all of us, you know. He's found out what love means. And he knows the value of time. He knows time is a glutton that eats up life. You know, we say we don't have time to do this or to do that. There's plenty of time. The trick is to apply it. Our greatest disease in the world today is procrastination. And Freddie knows about all these things. And so do you. He doesn't ask anybody to give him equal rights. If it's going to mean you have to give up some of yours. 
and he knows one thing, that patriotism is more powerful than guns. He's nice to everybody because he was taught that God was made in man's image. He's never met God in person, and the next fella might just be him. So I guess you could say Freddy's a little bit of all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to thank Red Skelton Aww. by via of Brian Hoffman for coming into the you. studio tonight. Folks, you can catch his show, Remembering Red, a tribute to Red Skelton, on Monday at 2 p.m. Now, Saturdays at 9 p.m., which is a new show that, you, new show, that has yeah. just been added, uh, down at the Royal Resort 99 Convention Center Drive. Um, you can call tickets at 1-800-595-4849. But I'll be honest.